The Independent is reporting on a goofy new anti-gay law in Africa. They say the Tanzanian government has banned the import and sale of sexual lubricants as part of a sustained crackdown on the country's LGBT community. Quote, it is true that the government has banned the importation and use of the jelly to curb the spread of HIV, Health Minister Umi Walimu told local media. She said that lubricant encourages homosexuality, <laughs> which is against the law in the East African country and can be punished by life imprisonment. Okay, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Lubricant encourages homosexuality. Guess what? I own many lubricants, and I've never once said, there's some lubricant. Where's a man that I can fornicate with? <laughs> That's never happened. That doesn't happen to anybody unless they're gay. If they're gay, then yeah, they want to do it. But it's not like any person looks at lubricant and goes, fucking hell, where's Sean? He's got to blow me. That doesn't happen. And then also... They punish it by life imprisonment. Now, this is actually a really interesting case because when you talk about Tanzania, it, I looked up the demographic makeup and the religious makeup, and they say it's like a third Christian, a third Muslim, and then a third indigenous religions. So this appears to be an instance of gay hatred that is solely based on the, hom the homophobia of the variety that's like, we hate them just because they're the other. In many instances with gay hatred, a lot of that is birthed from religious ideology, and then that becomes part of the culture. In this instance, it might be the case that it's just homophobia based on gays are the other, and they should be ostracized, and that should be, uh, you know, frowned upon and stuff like that. So, that's the basis of it, but as a result of that, the otherization of gays, they want to punish them with life in prison. Give gay people life in prison, just for being gay. God, we have so much work to do. I love it when people act like, Whoa, we already have gay marriage in America, it's over. Yeah, but there's this worldwide culture war going on, and this battle of ideas. And we need to make clear that there's like 10 countries where you can get killed for being gay. Many others where it's life imprisonment. Others where it's not life in prison, but you get a prison sentence. We gotta fight back against that all around the world. Not with guns, because I think that's counterproductive and it doesn't work. And it's immoral. But you do it with ideas, and you do it through the internet, and you do it through education. And, I mean, look at how silly it is. We're at the point where laws like this still exist in 2016. In fact, it's a new law. Ban lube. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, in Africa they actually have a, a, a serious HIV problem, and the statistics are really grim. But the way to combat that is not to say, ban gay sex, or ban sex. The way you combat that is, oh, we're gonna bring condoms and Bring them all over the place. Teach people birth control. Teach people contraception. Do health planning, family planning, stuff like that. More education is the answer. Not banning gay sex and banning lube. That is fucking crazy. In 2016, that's how low people go in order to, s to smear gay people. We're gonna ban lube. I got news for you, it's not just gays that use lube. <laughs> A lot of people use lube, Probably, maybe most people use lube for one reason or another. This is beyond ridiculous.